Shalom, Yiladim. Let's continue talking about Parshat Ekev. In this week's Parsha, we have the mitzvah of making a bracha before and after we eat. In the Torah, there is a pasuk that says, V'achalta, V'savata, Uverachta. What does that mean? The achalta means when you eat. The sabata, and you feel satisfied. What is satisfied? It's a good feeling when your tummy is full. Uve rachta, and then you will bench. You will make a bracha. The Torah teaches us that all the food that we have in this world belongs to Hashem. And before we can eat from it, we need to ask Him permission. How do you ask Hashem permission to eat from His food? We make a bracha. Then we eat the food. And after we eat the food, we say thank you. Because the food was so yummy and delicious. In this week's Parsha, we learn that before we eat, we make a bracha on every food that we eat. And when we finish eating, we make a bracha afterwards to thank Hashem for the food that we ate. But there are some things that we need to remember when we make a bracha. Step one, our mouth needs to be empty. We can't make a bracha with food in our mouth. Then we won't be able to hear Hashem's name. Then we have to have our food ready to eat as soon as we finish making the bracha. We need to take the peel off the banana. We have to open the package of chips. It has to be ready because there shouldn't be time between saying the bracha and eating our food. Then step three, we need to know in our mind what bracha to say. We can't start the bracha and say, mm, is this hadama? Or is this ha'etz? Or maybe it's shahakol. Before we make the bracha, we have to have in our mind the bracha we're going to say. And once we make the bracha and we take a bite, we must not talk until we swallow. So how many steps do we have in making a bracha, Yiladi? We have arba. We have four steps in making a wonderful bracha. Should we go the, through those again? First, our pe empty. Second, our food ready. Third, our mind knows. And four, no talking till we swallow. 